Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's the last time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel I came across a clip of Candace Owens speaking about the fractured professional relationship between her and Ben Shapiro which many of us have seen unfold publicly over the last few months And let's be honest the major dispute between these two is mainly because of Candace's anti-war stance over Israel and Palestine and her refusal to take sides with Israel which didn't sit well with Ben Shapiro and his colleagues at the Daily Wire who are majority pro-Israel. In the clip I'll show you Candace speaks about why Ben Shapiro is extreme in his views when it comes to Palestine and how his ties to Israel as well as his Israeli wife play a major part in his conduct. To be fair, Shapiro's wife keeps herself pretty low key. She was born in Israel but moved to the US and has dual nationality by the looks of it. And as you would expect from a wife, she supports her husband in his views and his actions, despite many people seeing Ben as being completely in the wrong. Let's take a look at the clip. Ben Shapiro, I think it was maybe a few months ago, he told you to quit <laughs> over your uh, over your Israel coverage, your, your Palestine Israel coverage. The tweet that he responded to was actually just some biblical passages. I don't know how we interpret it. I just meant it as like, you know, peace, calling for peace because, you know, there was a video circulating of him calling me a disgrace or in a faux professional or whatever yep. it was. And I decided to choose peace. And then when I chose peace, he responded to the peace with not peace. <laughs> so why wouldn't he just fire you? Well, as I explained on Tucker Carlson's show, like Ben doesn't have the power to fire me. His wife is Israeli. Mm -hmm. um, he spends a lot of time in Israel throughout the year. I think when you have an emotional attachment to some place that sometimes your your reaction to anything is going to be more extreme. I think I was pretty even keel. I don't want to see innocent Palestinians killed. I don't want to see innocent Israelis killed. Mm -hmm. I never want to see children killed. Mm -hmm. I don't believe children should have to grow up in a war zone based on the actions of a few. And that, I guess, last year sounded crazy. <laughs> it sounded crazy because always the demand in all these situations is to make people pick a side. And then if you don't pick their side, then you get smeared and you get libeled, right? So if you don't say, I want every Palestinian murdered, then suddenly you're pro Hamas. Yeah. If you don't say like, I want every Israeli person eradicated, you know, then suddenly you're pro apartheid, whatever the arguments are. And I think both of that is extreme. You said no government anywhere has a right to commit a genocide ever. There is no justification for genocide. Yeah. That, that is going to age so well. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Genocide is always wrong. It is, guys. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is always yeah. wrong. Um, and doesn't matter at any point in human history, any person that is advocating for genocide is always in the wrong. And when I wrote that tweet, I was referring to Brian Mast, who was a congressman. He got up and he literally said in Congress that there's no such thing as an innocent Palestinian. Mm. And I was like, mm. that is genocidal. Right. As soon as you say an entire group of people are all evil, you are now laying the groundwork to justify a genocide. Mm. And that to me was wild. So I spoke up against wow. it. Candace stated that what sparked the back and forth between her and Ben was her posting biblical passages referencing her religion to call for an end to the violence in Gaza, which in turn led to Ben name calling Candace publicly for not supporting his pro-Israel position, which I think is a weasel move. Candace also made it clear that the reason she remained a member of staff at the Daily Wire whilst in disagreement over such a major geopolitical issue, which Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire are very personally involved in as massive propaganda peddlers for Israel isn't because the Daily Wire is an advocate for free speech. It was because Shapiro, though a co-founder of the Shady Media platform, didn't have the power to fire her. Even Shapiro has confirmed this recently. I'm sure if he was able to fire her, he would have done so months ago. However, there is no doubt with his influence at the Daily Liar, he did have a hand in heavily swaying the decision of letting her go, especially since she has been repeatedly going viral for speaking the truth on various different platforms and podcasts. Candace spoke about how deeply tied to Israel Ben Shapiro is and why his views are so extreme when it comes to covering up and justifying Israeli war crimes. She said his wife is Israeli and that he makes frequent trips there and he himself has spoken about his tie to Israeli 
politics also. Candace also spoke about how she was just being neutral and didn't want to see innocent people or children on either side being harmed and that just didn't sit well with Ben and the Daily Wire. I guess a requirement to work for them is to be okay with war crimes against Palestinian civilians and to not speak freely as they censor neutral opinions and common sense viewpoints. Candace as a complete neutral actually uses the word genocide to describe what Israel is doing in Palestine. The word is so massive in exposing Israeli propaganda and they want it to be censored as most pro-Israel voices refuse to use the word as a description of what the IDF are doing because to do so would be to admit guilt of war crimes and oppression. All Israeli propaganda mouthpieces deny there is a genocide going on but Candice as a Christian woman who has no bias towards either side is adamant there is. What did she gain from telling the truth? She lost her job and faced massive amounts of backlash. It would have been easier for her in terms of career advancement and financial incentive to side with the genocide enablers and deniers. Israel would have loved her to be on board and would have rewarded her for it but she chose to be fair because she has a heart and doesn't agree with harming her fellow human beings. I look forward to seeing what she has to say on the matter in the next few weeks once she sets up her independent platform. I think she will steamroll over the Daily Wire despite them having Israel's blood money behind them. She has the respect and support of the people on the right side of history because she chose to stand for truth and against evil. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this and in order to guide and support each other in our deen. Or if you have more serious personal issues you need help with please feel free to book a call with me. And remember to like, subscribe and become a channel member for access to exclusive content. Until next time inshallah, Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah!